Okay, so you're getting just a small chunk of model magic today, and we're going to be using it to create all of these things here. So we're going to break it into smaller sections as we're working. The first one is simply a coil, which is sort of like those snakes that you've probably made since you were little. And you always want to start everything off with a nice smooth round ball of clay. So I'm just kind of rolling this in my palms to get it nice and smooth. Now model magic is sort of like a cross between, I would say, Play-Doh and real clay, um, where it feels like Play-Doh, but it works more like real clay in that it will dry and it will dry um, actually nice and light and fluffy. So a coil, we're going to start out by rolling it in one direction in my hands, and then you can actually roll it on the tabletop a little bit, and you're just kind of pressing down. We want this to be an even thickness as much as possible. Okay, so there is my coil. Um, I wouldn't want it much thinner than that, and I'm going to just put that right there in that spot. Um, and then for a spiral, I'm going to do the same thing. So take a little chunk of clay, smooth ball, one direction. And then I can again roll it on the tabletop a little bit, just using my fingers here. You can also use your palms, especially if you're using a bigger chunk, the palms of your hand might work better. But again, we want this to be kind of an even thickness. And then for a spiral, what I'm going to do is take the end and just push this around and around and around okay so that's my cute little spiral a coil letter so again trying to do this coil even thickness so this is not even it's thinner at the tip it's wide here, thinner here, wide again. I want this to be pretty much an even thickness. So I'm going to work on getting this to be as even as possible. And then I'm going to put it into the shape that I want. So I could do an S. Um, I can bend this in any directions I really want to make whatever letter you want. So I'll go with an M. Okay. A slab. A slab is a flat pancake of clay. Roll it in my palm. And then I'm going to press down right in my palm with my finger here. If it were a bigger chunk, I would flatten it with my whole hand. But I can just flatten it with my finger like this. Um, as we work a little bit larger, we'll also have some rolling pins out to do this flattening if needed. But we want just nice little flat pancake of clay. I don't want too much thinner than that because the thinner it gets, it can start to break on you. So this is pretty good. A pinch pot or a little pinch technique. So what I want to do here, I'm going to start with my round ball of clay again. And then what I'm going to do is give it a spot where my finger is going to go. And I'm just going to sort of work my finger around and I'm pinching the sides as I go. And this is making a little tiny mini pinch pot. If you're working bigger, it would come into shape a little bit more. But I just want you to get the idea of trying to keep an even thickness as you're pinching to create something. Okay? Attachment. So I am going to take two pieces, make something out of them, whatever it is that I want to make, and then I'm going to try to attach them. So I might just do two little balls of clay here. Now with model magic, this is where it is different than clay. Um, with clay, you would need to do a certain process to attach, which we'll learn more about. But for the model magic, you simply can just use a little tiny bit of water. It makes it a little sticky. And the thing with model magic is it doesn't do great attachments. So this is where if you're really building something kind of intricate and where you want pieces to stick together, clay might be a better option. But model magic is better used if you can keep things in one piece. So there I've made my attachment. It's pretty stuck on there and as it dries it should get better. And then a texture. You're going to look around the room for something that you might be able to press into the clay. Um, that you could actually create a texture with. So I'm going to find something, push it on there, 
and you can see my texture right there that was imprinted into the clay. Okay, and I can just do this with a smaller amount. And then once you have this done, you can call me over. I'm going to check that you have each thing. And then you can actually push this back together and make something all on your own if you like. Okay, we also can add a little bit of color to our model magic. So I'm going to show you that. I'm just going to add a little bit of this like tannish brown here. And I'll just do it with a small piece to show you how. Again, a little flat pancake of clay. Add marker to your clay. And then mix it together. Um, your hands will get messy. So please know that in advance. And I can swirl this together. I could make like a cool just swirly pattern if I wanted. Um, or I can keep mixing it all the way up. And then I have my clay actually in different colors. Um, you can do this before you build something or after the model magic is dry. It is paintable um, both with watercolors or temper paint. Temper paint's a little bit better. Um, you can also actually add marker onto it for fine details as well. So there now my clay is a color.